Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. So, you took on a pontoon restoration project and your friends or family or both said they'd help you out, but then you get down to doing the work and where'd everybody go? If you're working by yourself, this is a tip that's gonna save you a lot of headache, a lot of time, and be able to accomplish this by yourself. I am reinstalling these railings, but I use this technique for all sorts of things when I'm by myself and I need to get a wrench on one side and the other to tighten something and I physically can't get into those two locations at the same time. If we take a look at this railing, this railing will be secured from the inside. So I would have to get, if we look back up on the boat here, with this railing up on top, I would have to get a hand somehow inside of the railing and underneath to tighten everything down. Just not physically possible for me on this one. So what I do is I'm going to take a 7 30 seconds drill bit. It's 1 30 seconds of an inch smaller than quarter because a quarter inch is the hardware that I'm going to use to secure the railing to the deck. I'm going to go ahead and run this 7 30 seconds bit down through. That way, when I'm on top, I can thread down a bolt, and I'll show you here, to actually secure the railing in place, nice and snug to the deck. Then I'll come with a wrench and the nut on the other side and tighten everything down. Let me show you how this works. So if you can imagine the railing being up here and I'm up on the boat installing this, I can go through the wood. It's gonna thread into the wood and we're hitting aluminum. It's gonna thread right through the aluminum as well. going to snug down that that can't come out so if i were putting the railing on what i would do is just drive it once i have my spacer in there drive that bolt down snug come on the outside get around with the wrench and i can go ahead and just tighten that down the nut on the bottom side so this front corner piece is ready to go on i've drilled my 7 30 seconds holes and go ahead and place this up in position And now I'm gonna climb up and run that bolt down through and then I'll come around and show you on the other side how we do the spacer, the fence riser, and we'll tighten from the outside. I'm gonna line up my bolt with the hole that I've drilled. One of the perks of reusing your railings and rub rail combo is that everything lines itself back up. I'm gonna run this down, not all the way, going to leave enough space so I can lift up and put a fence riser underneath. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of my bolts in on this front corner piece here and then we can put our risers in and tighten from the bottom. We're going to slide our fence risers in now. Another quick tip. If it's a little sticky I'll get a pry bar under there just to get enough space, just gently using that to get my riser in place. With my fence risers in, I'm going to go back inside one more time and run those bolts down snug. I'm going to tighten them. I'm not going to strip everything out, but I'm going to run them down snug. That way, all I have to do is get a nut on the bottom, tighten with a wrench. Watch them suck right down into that fence riser. You put washers on those? Whenever possible. Then my last step is taking a locking nut. So this has the teeth to help it not reverse out and a washer. And then either with a socket or we call it the dog bone. Reminds us of a dog bone. I'm gonna tighten that down. And because I've threaded that hole with a smaller drill bit and let the bolt thread in, it's like having somebody on the top side holding everything in place. And I can get this snug down really well to where everything's secure. I'll go through and tighten the rest. And this is back in place doing it by myself, 
gotta make it work sometimes it's just how it goes shop for things like this vinyl weave flooring these premium seats all at pontoonstuff.com use our link pontoonstuff.com backslash tom's tunes you can always buy us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com backslash tom's tunes or super thanks right here on youtube to contribute to our channel and help us keep going otherwise a subscribe some comments we love to hear from you too yeah and add a boy always always makes us happy an add a boy <laughs> <laughs>